Hey, hi everyone, this is Vivek and welcome to this episode of Art Coder Weekly. Today we are talking about this game called Game on Tree and this is one of the best problems I think I've taken on the channel. So do stick around to understand the whole technique of this particular problem. This has multiple logics intertwined and I would not waste any time and let's get into the problem. Problem says that you are given a rooted tree with n vertices, root 1 being the vertex, uh, be, being the root and for each i, 1, 2, n minus 1, you have an edge between connecting between ui and vi, so standard tree input. And for each of the nodes, 2 to n, we have some integer written on the on those nodes, right? Some positive integers written on the, those nodes. Now, player Takashi and Aoki is playing this game on this particular rooted tree where they have to make uh, move a piece. The piece starts at 1. Aoki chooses a non-vertex, non-root vertex and replaces that integer written on that with 0. So, he can choose any node and delete that node and make, it values, make its value 0. Next, Takashi moves this piece to a direct child. So from any particular piece, you can move to any one of the child nodes. And then the game ends if the piece is on the leaf, right? That's there. Or even Takashi can choose to stop anywhere. So essentially, at any point in time after the second move, the, uh, Takashi can choose to stop the game. And whichever value you are on is the value of Takashi. Now, Takashi wants to increase his maximum value, increase his value as much as possible. He wants to end at the best possible node or the highest valued node as much as possible. And Aoki is like kind of switching values from some positive to zero. So he wants to minimize the final value at which Takashi ends. And if both of them play optimally, you have to find uh, what is the value that they will get, print the max maximum value Takashi can get if both of them play optimally. And this is a very, very standard tree input. 200 power 5, like almost like linearish kind of thing. Values are 200 power 9, all in integer range. So this is there. So once we see this particular problem, the first thing that should click in your mind is that it's a tree. So on tree, we have to play a game. Now, whenever you have a game kind of a setup on tree, right? Most pro what what can that particular problem entail? I mean, what can that be? Um, number one, maybe it's direct some observation. It doesn't seem like that, right? Because it's a process and every node will have three different, like multiple different childs and there, are, there is a decision involved. So it's very difficult to kind of create an like abrupt logic. So we'll keep that for the end to think about. Uh, what else can it be? Maybe DP on tree because on trees when you have to find optimal logics and uh, as you can understand that in every tree, if you move the node, it's like a very similar problem. It might be something like DP on tree, but how exactly? So we are trying to explore that, okay, there is this particular tree. And we are playing this ga game. We want to know where do we want to end. Each node has some value. I'm not writing the values right now, but essentially like at this particular node, you can choose to go into any one of them. So at first Aoki has a move, so he can delete any number out anywhere. And then Takashi will make his move and so on. So uh, at the start, what we can kind of think about is, okay. How do we find the optimal move for Takashi at any particular point or maybe the optimal move for Aoki? So whenever you have these game kind of things, right, where you have to play optimally, you have to think about maybe can we find the actual strategy by which we can find out the answer? I mean, we have to find out the optimal answer at which at which the game will end, right? So can we actually decide the optimal strategy for both of them? And it turns out that it's pretty difficult because when you are at a particular node, right? You don't really know which one your op, your like Takashi's optimal game is going to be. Which one should he go into after this? And based on Aoki's deletion, Takashi can change his strategy and move to some other node altogether, right? So Aoki has to play in a way that it's it, it is like kind of sufficient for all together all of the nodes. Like if he goes into like if he deletes something in this particular subtree, even if he goes into this or this, uh, it still like uh, works out, right? It's pretty difficult to find out the optimal strategy for Aoki for the first move and that's why simulating this game with an optimal strategy or some greedy strategy is pretty difficult. DP on tree is fine but like since it's a 10 to the uh, 10 to power 5 kind of a constraint or the tree is pretty large what we can understand is uh, DP of like you can only keep just node over here and maybe some extra information but what do you keep at this particular node and uh, for a particular node you, you would definitely try to keep some sort of subtree uh, maybe the information you might play is okay. Best uh, if you if you start at this particular node, what is the best you can get in the subtree? This is something that can pop up in the mind if you think in the direction of DP on tree. But the problem with this is uh, essentially whenever you are playing the game, let's say the first deletion happens in this particular part and you move to this side, then the next deletion can happen somewhere over here. 
right next deletion might be optimally over here and then he might and the optimal move for takashi would be to move over here so when you're playing over here at this particular dp of node right you can't really tell how many of the nodes inside it has been deleted already or which all nodes have been deleted already you might think about some greedy strategy that okay delete the most highest value node but not not necessarily that is true right because think about this case wherein the highest value node is very very far away right the va highest value node is over here 51 and then there is 50 over here and then there is one over here one over here so ideally if you try to delete this 51 takashi will move into this 50 and he will get this 50 score whereas you could do better where by deleting this 50 because you have some move left when takashi is going to come over here you can delete this 51 so it's better it's not always better to delete the smallest one so how do we go about this okay so whenever you have this kind of scenario right where you have to find an optimal answer for even games Whenever you see this term answer or you have to find that what is the one of the players is kind of tugging off for the maximum value. What is the ma maximum value of an answer? It can turn out to be a binary search problem, right? And we can actually formulate this as a binary search problem. Let's try to see. Okay. So let's say if we know that some optimal X naught is there. Okay. That this is the optimal answer. Okay. This is the optimal answer, which means the if both of them play optimally, Takashi will at least uh, will do exactly X naught, let's say. Okay. And if Aoki doesn't really play that well, Takashi is going to definitely make more than equal to X naught, right? Right. So let's try and see a predicate function because whenever we do a binary search, binary search on answer style, what we do is we create a predicate function which says, okay, can we end at a value greater than equal to x at the end if both play optimally okay can we end at a value greater than equal to x at the end if both play optimally let's say this is the function that we are talking about now, if you try to see the space that it creates, it creates a monotone space. What I, what do I mean by monotone space? It's essentially like, if you see that this X naught, okay, at this X naught, the FX value, okay, at this X naught is going to be true, right? It's a true, it's a one, okay. Because for X naught, we can create X naught. So we can get a value greater than equal to X naught, right? So think about something like X naught minus one, okay. Can I get a value greater than or equal to x naught minus one? Yes, because I can make x naught. So this is also true. These are also true, right? Can I end? Uh, so let's say the optimal value, the best you can get is x naught. If both of them play optimally, can you get something like x naught plus one? Obviously no, because then the optimal answer would have been that particular thing. So it's no, 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 right? So there is this particular monotone space wherein you have this true, 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 then false, 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 right? And then you need to find the last true. Now, this is a very, very standard application of binary search. I'm not going to go into how do you actually write this binary search. It's very, very standard that finding the last true in a true no answer. If you don't really know this, I think you should revise up how to write binary search in these cases. But again, since we are already tackling a problem, which is much more harder than just naive binary search, I'm going to leave this part for you to kind of think about that. How do you do the binary search? But essentially what we are doing is we are doing binary search on answer. Okay. The idea is binary search on answer and the answer can the answer be greater than or equal to x naught or not okay now if we have this predicate function now we know that using this predicate function i can find out this optimal value because we need to find the last t last two and the only thing left is to actually create some logic by which we can get for a certain x is this true or not okay so essentially uh, now the question is given a tree, right? You, you have some values, right? You have some values on each of the nodes. Can I end at a value greater than or equal to X or not? Right? The F of X is going to tell me, can I end at a value greater than or equal to X? Now, what this means is let's say these values were initially greater than or equal to X. Okay. So it essentially says that I just need to make my piece land at any one of these pieces and I'm gonna, I'm done with the problem, right? 
if Takashi can get himself in one of these white pieces, one of the white cells, then he got done. And if the, if the blank ones, the blank ones were initially less than X. So no matter they are there or not, you can just wait there, right? Now, still the game is pretty difficult. It seems that, okay, buying search is fine, but now we are starting over here. How do I decide which one do I okay delete? It's very similar to the previous one, but now we don't really have the value, value sense over here. It's just whether it's bigger than X or not. So now once we have this, what we can think about is, okay, now we can do something that we were talking about TP on tree, right? That okay, DP of X. Now, one thing that you might think about is like, sorry, DP of some node, I will write over here as small n, okay, or some node n, okay. One thing that we can return from DP is, uh, can we win from this yes or no? But that doesn't really help us, right? Because deletion can happen anywhere. So a better way to keep things in DP is minimum delete before start. Okay. Minimum delete before start from this particular node. So let's say the game starts at this particular node. So the minimum number of deletes that you have to de like delete minimum number of uh, white nodes that you have to delete out of the tree before the start by Aoki is what we keep over here. So if you start over here, think about it. If you start over here, I will have to at least delete this one and this one, okay, two. So this answer for this would be two. Why? Because if you, if you don't delete these, then either of them is like, I'm going to reach over this one. Let's, let's, uh, not really two. Let's, let's go from the base value. So at this particular node, the, if you start over here, no matter what you do, you cannot reach. So I don't need to delete anything. Right. If you start over here, the first move is of Aoki, right? So. If you think about it, it's like you have to delete exactly one, okay? like before the first move of Takashi. Now, over here, if you, uh, if you are like kind of playing over here, then I need to delete this particular thing before the move of Takashi, right? And I need to just delete this particular thing because understand when you're over here, I will delete this white by Aoki, then uh, Takashi will try to make me move to this particular part. And then I will delete this because I get moved before, uh, the next, before like it's at a leaf node or Takashi wants to end the game. Right. So this is going to be uh, one only. Okay. Next we have this particular node where uh, if you if Aoki is playing first, then it has to be one because he has to delete this particular one, this particular white node before it. And then if you are over here, then it's going to be one. Okay. So the value for this one is going to be one. Why is that? Uh, I'm, I can delete any one of them. Let's say I delete this particular one. Okay. I delete this white node. Now the game starts. It's Aoki's, it's, uh, Aoki's move, right? I can go ahead and delete any one of them. And then he's going to move this side and I'm going to delete this particular thing. Right? So at least one of the things you need to delete first. When you start over here, you need to delete at least one of the first things like this one. And then it. In the first move, Aoki will delete this. So you, you're going to step in, you're going to wait till the whole game. So this, these are the values uh, at this particular node. We obviously know it's one, uh, at this node also, we're going to get one because I, what I can do is I can delete this before the start. And then when you start over here, I will, delete, I will something delete like this. When you come over here, I will delete this. When you come over here, I will delete this. So we can do it in one, just one extra delete at the start. So the way we are kind of doing this is merging the DP values for its child nodes. How exactly is that? Let's say there is this particular node. Okay. And there are multiple cases that can happen for this node, which is either it's, sorry, I think I should draw it with white, either it's white or it's not. Okay. Now there are these bunch of childs. Okay. And all of them have their own DP of childs. You can easily recursively calculate DP of childs because we are writing it in that way. Now for this particular node, think about it. Let's say it's forget about the color. I mean, Initially, you don't need to delete the color over here, right? Now, 
you are over here and it's uh, before the game starts okay this needs some x number of moves to be deleted before the before game starts over here okay this needs y this needs z this needs some w okay now after the first move of aoki takashi is going to have a choice to move any one to any one of them right so aoki will have to make sure that all of them are ready to be the next move of takashi okay so in that case what he will do is he will actually wait remove all of these extra things dp of all the childs summation of dp of all the childs before the before the move starts for takashi from for takashi from this particular place but hey uh, do we actually need to remove all of them no right some of them is there this is the number of whites that you need to move but after even after moving like even after moving from this particular node to some other node if it was a black node right when you're starting off aoki gets the first move right so even at the first move also he can delete one more so i will subtract one and then delete that delete that particular node at the start of the game so we will take a max with this one right and when this is a particular when this is actually a like white node we definitely need to delete one more from the child because the first move has to be deleted on this particular node so this extra plus one will happen when this is a white node so i will say that if it is white of i i mean if this node is white then i'm gonna delete one more extra like it's one or zero depending upon whether it's uh, greater than or equal to x or not or else this is the recurrence relation by which we merge that we find the sum of dps of the child minus one taken max with zeros because if all of them are zero then you get a zero right and this is the final dp value of this node n right this is dp of n now if you get this dp of n for this particular node this is the minimum number of moves that is required to be deleted recursively calculate this for the whole tree and a very very simple idea that if the dp of the root node is going to be equal to zero which means before the game starts you don't need to delete anything which means uh, you are good to go and aoki can actually defeat the this particular setup and in this case if this is true then we can say that okay f of x right like can you make can the optimal will the opt optimal play be greater, greater than equal to x no you can say it's a no because aoki has requires zero number of moves to make sure that none of the whites are available so it's a no if it is not if it is non zero then it's a yes and we need to find the last yes in the binary search so if you think about the complexity this dp is like a simple linear merging of the childs so this dp is going to take us order n right multiplied by we need to do a log of the binary search and the binary search is going to like like the answer can be in the range 0 to max of ai right so into log of max of ai this is going to be the full complexity of this particular solution right so this is a very beautiful problem with binary search being used as the initial indicator to find out okay what all values can actually be my answer so it's a binary search on answer but the check is a really beautiful dp on tree right so that's all for this particular problem i hope you enjoyed this particular technique uh, this is actually something i've seen before as well in some other game based dp problems some other uh, tree based ideas it's, it's it's generally common in tree based idea itself binary search on the value and then it becomes a tree problem so make sure that you practice this up code this up after this do like and subscribe to this particular channel i mean and press the bell icon as well because i do put up some videos periodically on this channel and if you don't get notified about that you might miss them and uh, stay tuned if you have not checked out the previous videos do check them out and in the next video we're going to come up with some new problem till then see you all bye bye